and welcome to The Acorn, the podcast that drops a little bit of psychoeducation so you can gain a better understanding of the therapy world and yourself. So without further ado, let's jump into our episode. Hi, and welcome to Season 1, Episode 13 of The Acorn. Today, we're going to be talking about what is internal family systems. Well, internal family systems, or IFS, is a therapeutic modality developed by Dr. Richard Swartz. And in IFS, the idea is that we all have different parts of ourselves or subpersonalities within our mental system. I want you to think about it a little bit like this. If a friend said to you, hey, where do you want to go out to eat on Friday? You may respond and say, well, part of me wants to go out for sushi, but I don't know, part of me feels like trying out that new taco place downtown. That's kind of like what it feels like. And this is language that we're used to. So I want you to think about this modality kind of like a non-pathologizing approach to therapy. And it asserts that there are no bad parts, only parts forced into bad roles. So in IFS, we have parts which comprise of our exiles, managers, and firefighters. And we also have the self. I want to take a little bit of time to go through what each of those different parts are like. So our exiles, they hold a lot of our little T and our big T trauma. And they're often young parts of our system who carry the burden of our adverse experiences. In order for our nervous system to not feel overwhelmed, these parts were locked away. It was a brilliant strategy that our system used to cope. However, each person gets to choose whether they would like to keep adopting that strategy or if they would like to begin the work of unburdening those exile parts. But that's not usually where we begin that work. So let's check out the other two protector parts. So our protector parts comprise of our managers and our firefighters. So the next part we'll talk about are called the managers. These are proactive protector parts that strategize and they plan out ways to ensure that adverse experiences don't happen to us again. They work to keep our exiles out of our awareness so that we don't get overwhelmed by the big feelings that they're carrying. We also have our firefighter parts. These are reactive protector parts that come to our aid when our nervous system detects that we are in danger. So this doesn't mean we're in actual danger. It could mean that we're feeling bored or we heard something we disagree with. Or maybe one of our exiles is feeling the pain of abuse or neglect or shame. This is where the firefighter then rushes in in order to quote unquote fix things. Unfortunately, the firefighter strategies can be more extreme than the situation warrants, and they may choose to cope by overworking, smoking, drinking to excess, using drugs, self-harm, you name it. They're very creative in their ways that they try to distract us from the pain. Now, I want to take some time to talk about the self. The central idea in IFS is that we all have a self, and when we're in self, we can help our parts to just soften back and release their burdens. So you may wonder, how can I tell that I'm in self? Well, you can tell that you're in self energy if you're exhibiting any of these traits, right? They're called the eight C's. So if you're feeling a sense of curiosity, if you're feeling calm, if you're feeling a sense of clarity, connectedness, confidence, courage, creativity, and compassion. One of the core concepts of IFS is that all parts are welcome. The purpose of IFS is to help the client gain greater access to self. From there, the client can begin to listen to their parts and begin to build self-compassion and self-trust, which can then lead to unburdening some of their parts and to deeper and deeper inner healing. Well, that's it for IFS feel free to hop over to my website for a free download of the eight C's. Now, as we close out this episode, remember to take a moment in your day to remind yourself to pause, breathe, hope, and heal. 
Take care. Well, this has been another episode of The Acorn. Remember, the content in these podcast episodes are for educational, informational, and entertainment purposes only. Disclaimer. Anything said in this podcast should not be considered as treatment, professional consultation, advice, clinical instruction, or assessment or any other mental health replacement. Listening to this podcast does not create a therapist-client relationship between you and the podcast host. Always seek the advice of your own mental health provider regarding any questions or concerns you may have about your mental health needs. Also, if you need immediate help, contact your mental health provider or call 911. Take care.